Okay, so what's up, what's up, what's up? Augustus Charles here. Uh, it's another uh, take one. Um, you know, it's uh, 93 degrees outside, and my apartment feels like it's uh, 60 degrees because as it gets hotter outside, it gets colder in my apartment. So I'm not complaining. At, sometimes I feel like a, like a frozen chocolate popsicle. Um, however, I'm comfortable, and uh, thank you for joining me today. This year, 2020, was supposed to be the year that I would blow out 60, uh, you know, and I had all these great plans, and I don't know whether or not, you know, God has a crazy sense of humor, or he's decided, well, we're just going to null and void all of these things in favor of, you know, I, I don't know, frustrating me. Um, you know, hoping that I, of course, you know, I, I you know, more get into more faith, you know, build more structure, develop more spiritually, you know, and uh, yeah, I had great plans. I had really great plans. I mean, it started, the year started great as, you know, I'm, I, the, 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 the new uh, uh, regional leader came on and I have all these great plans for feeding the homeless and really opening up the, open up the door and the service for the downtown uh, homeless population and you know the restaurant is going is going great, um, you know, and and I wanted I wanted to really, really I guess upgrade uh, somewhat uh, my 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 service my contribution, uh, you know, to um, you know these these these, these wonderful causes uh, and these needful causes. You know, started well with that, uh, you know, and. Um, you know, I had great plans for the restaurant because I just became a, you know, a minority owner. Never been uh, a minority owner, or owner of anything uh, that was as, on a major scale as, as a chic, uh, contemporary downtown restaurant um, that I put a lot of money into. Um. So, uh, so I was really, we were really hoping to make some make some uh, strides with the restaurant and it was going well. The pedestrian traffic was good. The food is delicious, of course, uh, you know, and, and, the, and the, the marketing was on point, finally on point, um, you know, and, and that was, that's what you know, I was, we were just looking for that to happen. So I said, God, thank you, thank you. Say, Things are happening, 60 is gonna be a year. It's gonna be like, oh yeah, 60, 90. Ooh, okay, I'm not trying to get old, but I'm apparently headed there, so. Uh, you know, and um, I had a lot of plans. I just had a lot of plans for 60, especially my birthday. I mean, I was really going to blow this puppy out. I mean, I was going to, you know, I, I had different ideas about how to present the 60, um, you know, and to pull people together. Uh, I didn't want it to be about me. I really wanted it to be about what it means to reach such a monumental age. Um, not a lot of people reach 60. And when you do reach 60, when people put out put, put us out the pastor, uh, for the most part, you know, we they think we're useless. Um, you know, we slow down. We we begin to uh, begin to uh, you know just just be like silent. I didn't want to be silent. So, uh, but I understand. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I had plans and and had great plans. Really, everything I've done this year. You ever get that feeling that everything you do, you, it's not working. Nothing is working. You pray, you stay in faith, you stay in connection with the church, uh, you know, and, and, and I realize I could blame it on a lot of things. And my, of course, the, the, the COVID thing, uh, the coronavirus struck, um, it, it became a pandemic. So, uh, you know, I don't know if that's God's great, you know, way of covering like, okay, we're not going to make this about Augustus Charles. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna make this, you know, we're just gonna lump him in and all this crazy stuff and 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 maybe you'll think about it, but um, And of course then we get the George Floyd thing and, and I'm you know I am not gonna minimize the, 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 the brutality and the horror of of what happened um, and, and minimize it in favor of, of Amplifying me, you know and things of that nature. It's just it's just wrong. That was just wrong, and and our country is still uh, reeling behind it. And um, but, but of course, it, it's just adding, you know, to to you know frustrations that the things that I, I can't do. And, and uh, you know, I, I I read the scriptures, and I'm gonna read one right now. It says for the 
For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and hope. Now, that's in Jeremiah 29, uh, 11. And then there's another scripture that says, Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. That's in Psalms 147, 5. You know, and so, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I'm hoping that, the second half of 2020, the year of vision, the year that we 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 do great things because you know there are a lot of visionaries out there who have um, a lot of uh, a lot of um, you know ideals about you know how to make America great. Everybody, not simply the agenda that that that. The Trump is set, and maybe I should have said make the world great. I mean, there's some great people that want to do great things, um, and even if you even if you if you're not great, but you got a great heart to do some wonderful things, um, you want to. I would hope that God honor that, but oftentimes there's something that's happening that we don't know about, and um, there's an awakening that has to happen. There's a stirring up that has to happen, and. You know, as we know with the COVID thing, there are collateral damages and, 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 and God knows who those people are. Everyone who have lost their lives or have been touched by the COVID, all the people that have been, have been affected by the George Floyd uh, incident, um, you know, the nation is, is in pain. It, it's, it's, we're going through a lot right, right at the moment. Um, it's, a, it's, it's historic. It's historic. It's never happened in, in, in my lifetime as, as far as the pandemic is concerned. Now, of course, the brutality, you know, the execution on the spot by our so-called police uh, or law enforcement. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm B60 years of age. So you, these eyes have seen a lot of things and, 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 and you know, unfortunately have experienced uh, quite a bit of this racism that's going on. Um, still in all, I'm, I'm trying to keep a optimistic mindset about it. I don't want to go into the poor me, the, the why me syndrome. Um, that's easy to do. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it to God that, you know, that he has a plan. And 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 even though 60 is going to go by and I won't celebrate it with all the pageantry and, you know, all the pomp and all of the, the, the you know, the celebration that will usually go with a birthday, um, you know, the only thing I can say at this point is I'm glad I'm alive uh, in the name of Christ Jesus. I'm glad that I have um, a room <laughs> in, in, the, in the heavenly mansion. Uh, I'm glad I get to do what I do as far as my job is, is concerned, what I do with the community, what I do with, my, with the church, the, the fellowship. Uh, and I just want to say that, you, yeah, we have plans. You know, always remember, you can write those plans in your daily planner and uh you can you know stake your stake your 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 life and your finances and your effort in this but god has the eraser and uh you know it's not the it's not to make you feel like you don't deserve these things and and god is not trying to bless you there's there's a whole world outside of us you know and um, I, I look at it now with thank you. Thank you that the fact that, that, that maybe those plans are, are, are um, I mean, maybe those plans will come to fruition. Um, but right, and, and, and so because of those bigger things that have to happen, I'm willing to take a back seat uh, uh, to those plans. Although I'm 60 uh, in one day. So, um, and I want to thank all the people who have have reached my 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 age. You know, all of the the uh, veterans of life, if you will. Um, congratulations! Uh, we've got so much more to give. Um, the world uh, needs us, and 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 the the youth of today uh, will benefit from our experience and 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 our presence uh, so that we can have a greater uh, tomorrow with the the resources that we have with that in mind um, what well, the one thing I can do is I'm going to eat and uh, I'm going to invest in this piece of furniture right here uh, for right now um, and uh, I just want to say you know uh, to all of you guys thank you for your support uh, you've always been great to me thank you 
I know that people are distracted with so many things going on, so I don't take it personally. Uh, I just, I just pray that once we, once we, um, uh, we emerge from the this double whammy of uh, this, uh, these, these, this tragedy that we have. Uh, when we emerge from it, that we will be a better people, and that sometimes plans have to change in order for to affect a more long-term uh, betterment of humanity. So with that note, you know, this is take one from Augusta Charles. Thank you very much.